congressman who died for the independence of this country. They have given us a secular constitution, a secular government. Today, after so many years, we can't destroy the secularism of this country. And indirectly, the Supreme Court has opined. When somebody went to the Supreme Court asking with a plea, seeking that CSA be declared constitutional, they opined that country is going through difficult times. So they have not said that it is unconstitutional, but indirectly it means it is bad for the country. And if these people, if they love this country, they love the people of this country, who has given them mandate, they should stop this. Because we have, we have seen what has happened in JNU. All the educated youth, <coughs> the way they were treated when the police were at the door. My only point is, when the people who were there, the miscreants, had come with masks, if the masks were not there, I have nothing to say. Because it is difficult to distinguish between the students, teachers and the miscreants. But they are thinking about the mass. Immediately they should have opened and seen and caught them. Why are you the mask? They should have thought, ah, these people have come to do some nonsense. The government, so many times they have given assurance. Next month, two months. Two months, third month. So people are waiting with their eyes open. When will mine be resumed? No, I told them, because I brought to their notice, and I told them, or showed them, how it will affect the people and the crops. So, but the only thing is, after they, they make the estimate, and they tender any difference in course of money that has to be paid by the state. The difference in culvert, if you have, it comes about 130. And if they go on steals, it comes about 450 to 500. So I told them, whatever the cost, think of the posterity.